up, my YouTube friends? Guess what that sound is? It's the sound of another successfully finished project. Cheers. Got my buddy Mike here today, and uh, he's got a project sitting in the shop over here. He's got the RXL Altered States. He's gonna talk about that a little bit. We're gonna go over a little, uh, little tip he's got. Uh, can get you out of about any situation too. And uh, we'll talk about that and we're gonna fire up Rose because Rose is running and uh, came home yesterday. I spent about two hours, reassembled the entire engine yesterday afternoon, got it in the sled. And then uh, I didn't have enough antifreeze to fill up the antifreeze. So I'm like, good stopping point. Reloaded the toolbox because it was completely empty. And I got tired of walking around trying to find the wrench that was in my back pocket. So that was enough. Called her quits for the day and stuck everything back in the toolbox. And then uh, did a little riding over the weekend. We didn't do any videos. Nothing was worth videoing at all. We had nothing but issues. <laughs> and, uh, but we, I think we worked out all the kinks, hopefully. But uh, so we're gonna have Mike show us his little trick for you guys here, a little tip and trick. <clears throat> little trick with the duct tape. Now, normally you don't want to use the Gorilla Tape because this shit is too sticky. But if you got the regular gray tape, you just take and fold it over itself. Get a decent amount in there, maybe a little bit more than that, but you just keep rolling it. Do, you know, 10, 15 wraps. And you'll end up with a nice little, nice little flat roll of duct tape that you can stick in any pocket to get you out of any situation you need. Right there. And we've had to use it. He's taken that duct tape out of his pocket a few times now and says, I can fix it. I got duct tape. And everybody's like, how do you carry duct tape in a sled without ruining it? He's got it in his pocket. It's a great idea. He's warm too. Didn't you learn that? You learned that from a racer, a racer uh, cousin or something, right? Yep. yep. So, yep. yep. That's a good idea. So, let's uh, we'll step over and talk about Mike's RXL uh, Altered States. Um, he picked this up at a swap meet. This was actually kind of our first muscle triple in our group of sleds between him and Trenton and a bunch of our buddies that have these triples now. He kind of started the whole thing for us. We were all into the TXs and the leaf springs and the free airs, and uh, it just wasn't doing anything for us anymore. We, we enjoyed riding them, but we just wanted to try something different, and he found this out at a swap meet, and, uh, and I, he's going to tell you what he paid for this thing too, which is a completely, completely untouchable price these days, which is amazing what these things have done in the last couple years. But you bought this, what was it? We figured out the other day it was like six, seven years ago, we were thinking. Right around there, yeah. Yeah, it's amazing what you can get for 1200 bucks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So yeah. What'd I, you really pay for this thing? I, I paid 450 for it. Yeah. I saw it sitting on the trailer, and that same cousin that used to race had a 91, which this is. Obviously, it's a different color scheme for paint job on it, but... He had a 91 SKS RXL, and I always thought it was just the coolest sled ever. When I saw this thing, it was super clean. Obviously, it's dirty right now. It needs to be cleaned up, but um, I said, I got I to gotta have it. So I went over and talked to the guy, and just back and forth, worked it out, got it for 450 bucks, and rode it over to the trailer. Yep. And it had a brand new track on it besides. And, yep. Brand, brand new. Yep, yep. Unstudded. It was it was amazing. He come ripping back over to our swap trailer on this thing with a grin a mile long. And he's like, I got my dream sled right here. An EFI 650 RXL. And then he's done some work over the years. But not a... Not a ton to this old girl here. And Forest Lake Motorsports actually had their fingers in this a little bit, and then it went down to Chopper City Sports. And rumor has it, Marv Jorgensen actually did a quite a bit of tuning on this thing. At one point in time, it had triple pipes on it. It had the chip in there to run the pipes and stuff, and there was a bunch of clutch work done to it. And uh, But that, that's the rumor, and it, it seems to be true because even back in its stock state now, and uh, he's lined up next to a few of my triples too, and... It, like him and this one in Bastard, we ran them a couple times last year, and whoever got the jump was the one that was leading by the ski length at the end of the race. I mean, it, it was so dead on close. It's just these two run neck to neck, really right on, and it's a great sled. But the last trail ride we took on it last year, his son Mitch was riding it, 
And every time we'd stop, he's like, Dad, the track is so loose, it keeps skipping, it keeps skipping. So Trenton and Mitch tightened the track a few times until we realized they were out of adjusting stud. And that's when we uh, started looking deeper into it, and yep, the driver bearings went out on it and oblonged out the side of the tunnel. So that's why in a couple, about last week when I did the video of it, I said it's in here for a major repair. And that's what we're going to have to do is cut the side of the tunnel out. We're going to weld in a new piece of tunnel and fix this thing so we can get it back on the trails again. It's just, it'd be a shame to miss a season on this one. So that's the story on that one. The skis that came off of here are actually on redemption now. And I didn't mention that in the last video. Mike busted my nuts over this whole thing. He's like, how dare you take the skis off of altered states, put them on redemption without even mentioning where they came from. That's where the skis on redemption came from because Trenton actually picked up these skis in a little player's buy. We did a bunch of parts and they're brand new plastic skis. And Mike was looking at them one day. He's like, I think those skis would look a lot better on here and them red SLPs would look a lot better on a different sled, and they ended up on Redemption. So that's where those ended up coming from. Quick thing on Redemption. We had it out on the lake this week and did a little ripping on it. Uh, the exhaust sounds just absolutely killer out on the, on the lake. It's, uh, Mike was doubting it too, weren't you, Mike? Mm-hmm. He heard the video, and he's like, I thought you neutered a triple. Yeah, he says, dude, you neutered it, man. It, it sounds like shit. And uh, once he heard it, on the sled and out on the snow he's like no that's uh that's completely badass but i gotta do a little uh my recoil shit the bed on me and it sucks it happened when we were riding and we stopped i shut it off went to take off again it wouldn't start because it didn't have no recoil i grabbed the clutch and i got lucky the first time it just boom it fired right up got to the gas station and uh, we were going to look into it then and realize there's nothing i could do on the trail for it and then I spent about five minutes wrapping a strap around that clutch because by then the motor was flooded and, and uh, it got really crappy fast. And we got my storm home now. We got my 94 storm, 95, I mean 95 storm here. Brought that home to do a little work on it. And we're just surrounded by triples in here. There's triples everywhere. Everywhere we look, there's a triple, except there's one twin. Trenton had to bring a twin in here, but it's surrounded by triples, triples everywhere. But we're going to do a little work on, uh, on the 95 here, uh, just a little bit of suspension work. Nothing major, um, but all right, sorry to make you guys wait. We've been waiting for about six minutes now. Let's fire up Rose. Let's hear how she sounds. She's a dirty little greasy triple, but uh, it's going to stay dirty. I mean, she had about 20-some years of lipstick and mascara rubbed all over her jugs, and we cleaned up her jugs, and they look nice and pretty now, and let's fire it up, Trent. Let's hear it. Uh, Rose is sounding like these days. She sounds so good and so pretty now I almost want to make out with her. She's got about a total of 20 seconds of run time. Whatever that video was because we've only ran it for about three seconds two other times and uh, we determined it ran so we're like let's get a video going. Let's get the camera out. It starts, it fires, it runs. Sounds great. Um, Trenton's actually going to pull it out of the shop now take a little test rip on it. Make sure everything's good on it and uh, it's going to go up north this weekend for a little rip on Big Sandy. And, uh, yeah, so thanks for watching, everybody. Appreciate all the views. Last month, my channel went skyrocket. I don't, I don't know what the hell happened, but uh, it's been awesome. It, it just, the views have gone through the moon. I don't know if it's because these triples are so gorgeous. Everybody's got to see them on video or what the deal is. But we've been having a blast with them. Mike's a big part of us with the triples and stuff. And uh, Trenton, obviously, he's a, he's a huge help. He's just go, go, go. He's got time to do that. He's not 
looking at YouTube videos and, and, and all of his views and trying to comment back to everybody. Trenton's got time to work on them. And I'm trying to juggle all that. And, uh, but I love, comment, I love to comment back to everybody. I love all your comments, and, and I try to get back to every single person that comments on my videos. So peace out, guys. Keep watching. Thanks.